you know i was with the i was in camp this morning i was talking to the coppers and when i said how many of you want to be deployed everybody shouted i don't want to stay in Kusokoto. and i looked at them babies with pampas looking for a better life because they taught you that a better life is what you are called out for no sir no ma you were not called to live a better life if a better life is part of what he gives you to god be all the glory you were called to live for his will that's why when jeremiah showed up although he was in the line of priesthood for some time when god appeared to him he said see before i formed thee in the belly before your father toasted your mother i knew you you existed before you started functioning in biology so who told you that you were a priest he said before i called you out of the womb of your mother i i, I had sanctified you and made you a prophet so stop that nonsense you are doing your life is not your own you can't be tired of life you did you don't have power to even raise a dead fly so that those who live should no longer live for themselves you have lived the life of a thief for a long time a lying prone for a long time men have not seen jesus this is the year of turning into his fullness because i i so much believe this is the last year that anything fake will drive god has begun a seven year cycle that will end in 2030 throw your weight and turn it you have to become a living sacrifice hey! so when god says marry a pastor you are not looking out for i don't like a pastor are you okay I came in the volume of the book that it is written concerning me. I existed before I started living. He knew me before they found me. There, there is a thesis about my ordination that was written. So when I journeyed into the realm of the appearance, I had the echoes of eternity. Even if I had many ambitions, you know, you can even have a scholarship to go to India. You will find out that your India is in Sokoto. So the reason why you will stay back is because you are now a living sacrifice you know what it means when it says for me to live is christ and to die is king so the reason why you are alive is simply because ah oh jesus <sighs> this is a night whereby men are called into their several kinds of ordination this is that night don't say it's too late no abraham found his own at 75 this is that night don't say you have to no, know no you can begin it this night you can start a prayer altar of two two hours 12 a.m to 2 a.m every day this is that night you begin from somewhere this is that night it's a journey into ordination it's a journey it's a journey you have to be patient with yourself because he said till we all come some people will go faster but if you are on delay you will get there if you are on the road you will get there it is that night the night of ordination so if you want to come on board this year into his fullness you will drop that selfish kind of life you have lived for a long time do you know what is a living sacrifice you are alive yet you are dying and you know it is a life of pain it's hard I'm not here to pamper anybody. It's hard. It's hard. It's a life of pain. You will be dying. You know it. This is what Paul was trying to do. He said, I beseech you. I know I've written about the finished work of Christ from Romans 1 down to 11. But now, and now, you need to become a living sacrifice. So there are nights, the sleep will be heavy. Ah! You know that. Please don't go to sleep. There are days you will wake up. You know that. He said, Who oh, unto a city? that it kings eat in the morning time even if you are hungry you know that kings don't go to springs don't go to sleep during war or during battle time you have no choice but to set the indomie and the egg aside you want to turn it you are a sacrifice